Oh boy, did I find something interesting today. So I was going to be lazy as I've been so busy over the last few weeks preparing for this deposition uh, that I was just going to go on Twitter. And I saw Justin Trudeau tweeted something stupid, like his support for democracy around COVID-19. I was going to make fun of him. Then I realized, no, 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 no. I'm not going to just do what American bloggers do and Trump tweets and I freak out. So let me just at least, you know, read this statement for Democracy Day and see what he's saying for Democracy Day. And oh boy, I thought it would be like, I, I could do a, I was just going to do a thing like, oh, Justin Trudeau's talking about democracy and the need for democracy at the times of COVID. Then why did he prorogue parliament? Why is the guy advocating for democracy, but shutting down parliament? Grr. And then I realized, okay, I'm not going to do that because no one needs me to do that. But then I clicked on this thing and oh boy. Oh boy, guys, this is the most Orwellian nonsense I've I've ever I've ever seen. So we're talking about I mean this year's theme in COVID-19 the spotlight democracy highlights, blah 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 blah. Uh, enabling free flow of information during uh, ensuring transparency and accountability. Democracy has an important role to helping us confront the global pandemic. Yes, Justin Trudeau believes in transparency and accountability, guys. But how does he believe in transparency? How is he gonna fight for democracy on Democracy Day? Our Justin McPretty Face Trudeau? to continue the fight against disinformation and hate speech. Yes, this is where we're going. The government of Canada is harnessing the tools at its disposal to mitigate these actions online, including through the Digital Citizen Initiative, which was launched in 2019. The uh, initiative supports democracy and social cohesion in Canada by promoting the information ecosystem that is trusted, diverse, safe, and free from disinformation and illegal content. What's illegal content, Justin Trudeau? We'll get there soon. Uh, or I, I, probably we won't get there. The, the initiative also builds citizen resilience to online disinformation through third-party civic news, digital media literacy activities, and promoting equipped Canadians with the tool and seek the skills uh, to access, access information online. Okay. I'm just going to do the second paragraph piece. It's also stupid. The second paragraph is about the 2030 sustainability agenda for sustainable development in the United Nations. So again, to protect our democracy, we must cede all power to the United Nations, which is an un uh, unelected body to make decisions about Canadian sovereignty. For Democracy Day, guys! Now, my views about the UN, will throw them out because not enough time. Grr, everyone, everyone knows, UN Daniel Fishay, okay? Sustainable, we get that. But in his fight for democracy, he's literally talking about creating stronger hate speech laws. He's talking about censoring the ability for Canadians to speak freely on the internet. This goes to when uh, his heritage minister talked about regulating news agencies online. All of this is connected. It hasn't gone away. You see this is his ideology. Regulate a speech online, create more hate speech laws, and this is how he protects democracy. It's so Orwellian. It's so nonsense. And and how does he get away with this? How does he get away with posting this? Literally, just, this is what he posted on Twitter. It's a statement from the Prime Minister. And how am I the only one who's talking about this right now. This is so Orwellian. Now, if you're thinking, yeah, we got to get rid of Justin Trudeau. I'm totally with you. And replace him with someone who believes in free speech. Who? Aaron O'Toole? Aaron O'Toole is currently running around. I haven't had time to talk about this, and I will on tomorrow's episode. Aaron O'Toole is currently trying to reinstitute Section 13 of the Criminal Code, which is the Online Hate Speech Act. Both Aaron O'Toole and Justin Trudeau are trying really hard right now to invent new hate speech laws in Canada or bring back old ones. Section 13 was being abused and it had to be taken out of the criminal code because it was causing more harm than good. And both Aaron O'Toole and Justin Trudeau are trying to reinstitute hate speech laws. So thank you, Aaron O'Toole and Walid Suleiman, for suing me and launching a frivolous lawsuit against my family. So I didn't have time to like get deep into the news, so I just decided to look at Justin Trudeau's Twitter today so I could find this out. Thank you. And to save the lawyers in time. Yes, this is me. Yes, this is me in this clip. I am me. I'm Daniel Boardman. I'm saying those things. Why am I talking about Wally Suleiman suing me? Because he's literally suing me. How do I know this? Look at me right now in the courtroom. I'm literally holding a piece of paper that says plaintiff Wally Suleiman against defendant Daniel Boardman and Tag TV. Okay, you're wasting everyone's time. Now, to get back to what's important, out of the courtroom, back to real life, super transition. What the hell is going on in this country where we, we have... Okay, I, I can tell you what's going on. It's, it's all connected. You have a 600, sorry, $595 million media bailout. The, the media, I mean, $600 million would compromise the media. $595 million, that's okay. Now, I know we heard, there was some really shocking news, absolutely shocking news to, to anyone who, um, who's, uh, who has uh, been lobotomized recently. But apparently the people on the independent media con uh, uh, observation board were awarding companies they were involved in, large sums of money. 
Who could have seen that coming other than everyone? So the media is being paid $600 million for the mainstream media. That's a bribe. Um, the the Trump administration wants to make it... Um, once it's talking about sort of illegal content they're talking about trusted news sources they're saying that media 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 uh, according to, to their heritage minister you would need a license to be part of the media so you need a license licensed media would be paid by the government unlicensed media would be considered illegal content and there'd be 600 million dollars in bribe money just at the start to back up this entire system and this is what we're doing for democracy guys yay democracy democracy means less free speech this is how we fight for democracy guys we shut down parliament we try to end free speech, and then we give all sovereignty to the United Nations. Democracy, democracy, democracy. Don't worry, guys. Aaron O'Toole, the true blue conservative. Yes, he has the guy who Patrick Brown, in his own book, says was the architect of his carbon tax, Dan Robertson, on his team, head of strategies surrounding green energy and the carbon tax. So yes, he has a hardcore carbon tax advocate advocating for the carbon tax. Um, but, but don't worry, he's true blue. And, and don't worry. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't like the United Nations. That's why he signed up to the UN Peace Peace. Uh, sorry, Paris Accords. Because don't worry, Aaron O'Toole is going to fight back against the United Nations. It's not like anyone on his senior campaign staff was the United Nations global citizen. That would be ridiculous, wouldn't it? Oh wait, there is. Oh, don't worry, Aaron O'Toole is so pro, pro free speech. He's against cancel culture. Him and his campaign chair Wally Suleiman would never sue me and a multicultural Muslim-owned TV station during an election to stop coverage about them, and they never launch a frivolous lawsuit against my family in order to shut me down even further. No, 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 Aaron O'Toole would never do that. Then he'd never try and reinstitute Section 13 of the of the hate, uh, the hate speech code in Canadian legal system to try and shut down speech he doesn't like on the internet. That wouldn't be Aaron O'Toole, except that is Aaron O'Toole, and all those things are true.